Last time, we took a look at what it takes to successfully sell a house no matter what the season. Hi, I'm Bev Ann Phillips. I'm an occupational therapist. I'm also a licensed realtor with Prudential Ambassador Real Estate. And this is Shelley Nelson. Hi. My good friend and my real estate partner. Together, we are your Home, home Access, access team. team. Now, we have talked before about sellers needing to stick with the basics. Doesn't matter if it's winter time, holidays, whatever. If you concentrate on pricing based on condition and location, condition combined with staging to make sure your house is attra as attractive as possible, and consistent and effective marketing, you have the best chance of successfully selling your house. Now we covered pricing and condition, and that just leaves marketing, Shelley. Right. And marketing is really what sets other realtors apart from one another. And marketing is what helps bring those qualified buyers to see the homes that are for sale. That's true. Now, I focus on accessible homes, and Shelley is a generalist realtor. But we work together, and so we've developed the habit of when we list a house, we like to look and try to figure out what specific kind of person is more likely to want this house. We like to do target marketing um, and we want to make sure that what we're putting out there is especially attractive to that target. We also do broad spectrum marketing because we don't want to leave any stone unturned when we're trying to find the best buyer for our listings. Now, targeted marketing works really well for homes with accessible features, but every house has a target market. For instance, Shelly and I just a few months ago listed a house that has uh, many more garages than is the norm for the neighborhood it's located in. And not only does it have a lot of garages, but they're heated and cooled, and there's an office space and a bathroom. And so we thought that in addition to the target for accessibility, because it had an elevator and some accessible bathrooms, it also had the target of people who work from home, such as small contractors. So we actually had three sets of flyers and three different marketing approaches going on at one time, trying to reach the people who would love that house. Yes, and you are aggressive. Oh yeah, but only for my <laughs> clients, and Shelly is too. Yes, the best avenue for advertising is the internet. Our brokers are constantly updating us on the statistics that all age groups are now checking the internet before they even start working with a realtor. They are realizing, though, the value that a realtor can provide them with. The nice thing about Prudential Ambassador Real Estate is our staff is so good about getting our MLS, MLS listings and any changes that we have on that system right away. It's also a good tool, search tool, for all the buyers that are out there looking for homes. Good. And so paomaha.com is a great search tool. Prudential, being a national company, also has a terrific relationship with Yahoo. That is really a nice thing. Because of our nationwide presence, mm -hmm. we've been able to establish this relationship with Yahoo, and what that means for a seller is more exposure for them. So in addition to having just the Prudential sign, the name writer, and the phone numbers, they would also have their own unique Pru ID number. And then buyers can search the Yahoo system and find that property as the featured listing. Mm -hmm. Uh, and once again, bottom line is just getting more exposure for that property. The other nice thing about that is the sellers can then get a report, either weekly or daily, um, their preference, that tells them what is happening with those buyers that are looking at their home on the internet. I don't know of any other source that can provide that. That is a powerful listing tool. So in addition to being on PA, uh, Prudential Ambassadors website, and the multiple listing service and the relationship with Yahoo, all of that puts our listings also into some other powerful internet-based search tools like Realtor.com. Again, the more internet exposure, the better. So You're right. The more internet exposure, the better. But that doesn't mean that we ignore print advertising and other media either. It's not as effective, it's not as cost uh, effective because it costs more for what you get. But we don't forget anything that we can possibly do to help our sellers get their homes sold. So we make sure that every listing shows up in the local newspaper. We put it in the local uh, real estate magazine. And if it's appropriate for that house, we can even put it on TV on a channel that specializes in real estate. And don't forget about marketing directly to other agents. Right. 
That is also very important. I had mentioned earlier that buyers do see the value in working with realtors and it's also very nice because most realtors will pre-qualify those buyers and make sure that they are prepared to financially make that decision. And we don't want to waste our sellers time by bringing people through that may be wishful thinking and not really proactive buyers. That's true. So effective marketing is actually looking for the qualified buyers. Now speaking of people who are qualified and really ready to buy, what do you think about open houses, Shelley? Well, you know, on TV, mm -hmm. they're still showing people gearing up for the big open house and people actually buying a house right, right. out of an open house. Right. And you do hear about a lot of things on TV. Oh. However, reality is not the open houses don't always work for all buy, uh, sellers excuse me so we would have to weigh the option we want to make sure that we're taking into um, consideration here their security and their time and make sure that the benefits of that open house would outweigh any risks so true so we really don't have a one size fits all marketing plan the best marketing most effective marketing is looking at what is the specific target for that home doing some broad spectrum marketing and being very consistent and persistent about it. There's a whole lot more going on than just sticking a sign in somebody's yard. Right, right. And one thing that we're very good about is that constant communication with our sellers. We're always looking at the marketing that we're doing, trying to decide if we need to change something, mm -hmm. um, and always making sure that we give those results to our clients. So in conclusion, I hope that you found this segment and the previous segment useful and informative. Successfully selling a house in any season is not a magic trick. You follow the three basics. You price based on your condition and location. You combine condition with staging to dress your house up and help it make a great first impression. And three, you do consistent and effective marketing. If you've got any questions, I sure hope you'll call Shelley or myself. We're really very interested in answering any questions you've got, and I guarantee you we're looking forward to selling your home.